Hey guys, so this is going to be my video for Virgo Rising, yay. Um, I think this rising sign is the most that I know in my life. I know like six of them. Two of my closest friends have them. I just, I don't exactly remember who has them, but like I just know I know a lot. And they, they share a lot in common when they first come off to people. So yeah, um, when people first, when you first look at them, from like all rising signs when rising sign represents how you come off to someone when you first meet them and so they come off as very reserved and analytical I guess they just if you look at them they seem like they know a lot of things they seem very smart and that they possess a lot of knowledge because usually they are smart at first glance <laughs> That does, that does not necessarily mean that you're not smart, it just, you come off as smart, because a lot of the, one, the Virgo Risings are no, aren't exactly like the most intelligent people, but like, I'm not saying if you have a Virgo Rising, you aren't smart, but you come off as smart, and that's a good thing. It can get you very far, because you can just say whatever you want, and people will automatically think that you're right, and that you're smart. So that can get you very far in life, so yeah. Uh, they, the Rising represents how you first come off to people, and what you project to the world, so you kind of try to micromanage the world, I guess. Like, everyone that you know, you try to micromanage them, make them into better people, I guess. And it could be good or bad, depending. Like, if you if you have other Virgo placements, then you'll, like, really try extremely hard to try and micromanage and fix other people, which some people may not like. I mean, people just want to do their own thing, and you that are there doing stuff without them asking to. And, yeah, that's why you can clash with some people, especially anyone that has like Aquarius or Sagittarius in them maybe. To the world, everyone sees you as someone very helpful and is there when you need them, very dependable. You guys are very dependable people, unless you have other things you try, but like you come off as very dependable. dependable. Uh, Virgo Risings, they love to help other people, so they may also just come off as this person that is very helpful and and is just doing willing to do whatever to make people happy and that's an awesome characteristic I think they're they're very helpful people especially to people like strangers they're the type of people that will give money to the homeless because you know it's how they first come off I guess they're just they come off as someone that's nice so they'll just give money out of because they just want they don't want to see people suffer and they want to help them in any way that they can and what they also think is that they're the only ones that are that can help people in the way that they can and so they want to feel kind of special and that they feel like they're the only ones that can do something and if that someone isn't needing to depend on them and that someone can function without them then they really won't like that they'll make them feel insecure and so they just try to do as much as possible to be as helpful as possible so they feel needed that's a thing with them is they need to feel needed they're very quiet when you first meet them and I really really like that because and th but they also they do talk but it is very interesting because Virgos ruled by Mercury they don't talk as much as the Gemini rising when you first meet someone but um, their, their conversations are very nice when you first meet them and you obviously really make a f good first impression unless you know, obviously like not everyone makes a first good impression on everyone but with Virgo risings if someone was to be liked by everyone it would be them they also come off as very like nervous or like irritable like because just Gemini and Virgo they're always just like have to have something in their hands or like they're just like jittering like on the spot or like bouncing their leg up and down it's because they have this nervous energy and then they just need to like get out and I don't exactly know how they're kind of restricted in that way and it's kind of sad but what can they do because nervous energy is implanted in them um, one thing I do notice with Virgo um, Risings and also Virgo Dominant, like me, beady little eyes. They have very beady eyes. You see, like mine, mine are a little small and beady because I'm Virgo Dominant. So yeah, um, with them, they're going to have these eyes that are just all-knowing. And maybe, and like when you look at them, you'll see, you'll think that they're like, they know you and that they 
know your deepest, darkest secrets. Not like a Scorpio, where they know like you emotionally, but like they are analyzing you and trying to get to know what you like and like all this stuff. Like they're trying to analyze you as a person, not emotionally, but just on a, like a technical level, like you know, you, on an intellectual level, I guess. See if that how smart you are, or whatever stuff like that. Um, so the first house is your rising. And so the descendant, which is your seventh house, is the opposite sign from your first house. So Virgo risings have a Pisces descendant. So this means that everyone that they are attracted to usually have some sort of Pisces characteristics. And they want someone that is dependable and really caring and nice and giving to other people like they are themselves. They just want someone that is as willing to serve and help other people as they are but they also see the world as this over emotional and flaky and flighty people and they just don't think that they can depend really they, they, they think that the entire world is just really like crybabies basically and they and Virgo Rising are like get over it and so yeah, because the Pisces and the Ascendant, so that's how they see the world, and they think they're the only ones that are like Vir Virgo rising. They think everyone else is a Pisces, and they're the only Virgo. Virgo risings are usually very aware of what they eat, and they don't like to put certain things in their bodies, like they may be vegans or vegetarians, because they're very aware of the bad things that can be put in foods, and so they try to avoid that. But that's not going to stop them sometimes from binging a lot because they are an earth sign, and so binging is common. But the least common with Virgo Risings, I think, or Vir Virgo Energy in general, I think it's the least. So overall, um, Virgo Risings are p the type of people that will just analyze you to a T when, when first meeting you, and they're very reserved and quiet when you first meet them, and they make great conversationalists on, at, at, when you first meet them, and I think they'll make great friends and people that they'll make great people to have a business partnership with because they will whenever they first come up to people they appear very professional and they'll just work, do whatever they can to help and better themselves and other people so that was my video on Virgo Rising I don't I think I did I didn't do that well as I did last time on Scorpio Rising I felt like that was one of my best videos last time with Scorpio Rising but anyway next video I'm doing is Gemini Rising me when i first come off to people it's not a good thing usually um, if you can get past my resting bitch face then i can be good i guess but i'll save that for another video so i thank you guys for watching i thank you guys for watching i don't know that is a really weird way that i said that but i thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video for gemini rising bye